In a world that grows so quickly, what happens when everything just stops? Well, scary demonic things that perhaps we never knew about before. But what happens if the game stays like this forever? Now listen, I got this email from one of you guys who somehow found my private email address and sent me this and attached a world. Now I encourage everybody watching to pause the video, read this email because it is just mildly concerning. Now I did what nobody should ever do and download this world. Now here, this world is called Twitching and it's weird because it actually says new world number six beneath my actual real new worlds all right here. But this world was saved on 2024, January 31st. And it's like, we're like all the way in April now. So it's been several months, but I wanna join this world and see what's going on. Kinda don't know what to expect. Okay, so this person sent me the world and they had items, they had dirt, torches, and wood. And they also had the world border set really close within this village. It's almost like they were doing like a, some sort of like a multi-chunk challenge or something like that. Now, in the email, it specifies that they were messing around with the world border and tick speeds in Minecraft. Now, for those that don't know, you can alter tick speeds by doing a game rule, random tick speed, like a thousand. All it really does is change the way like crops grow, for example. See how they're growing super fast? Then we can change them all the way to like 20 and now it'll go back to normal. That's all that does. So I'm not entirely sure how somebody messing with tick speed would corrupt the game, but they said they literally had to leave the world because it was scaring them so much. Now, it's kind of weird because there's no way they were, wait. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I thought that was, I thought something sus was happening right there. Okay, now low key, I kind of want to get outside of the world border because something tells me the person was not inside of the village the whole time. Let's go on the outside right here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we are on the outside of the world border. Now, obviously, we won't be able to interact with anything. I can't place blocks. I can't even break blocks. I literally can't do anything. So I'm kind of stuck like this. I don't even think I can. No, I can't even beat mobs or anything like that. Now, wait, hold up. Bro. I can always just change the world border size. Wait, world border add 200. There we go. Okay, wait. I j okay, there. So now we're still technically inside. I don't know if I'm supposed to go outside of the world border or not. It's like nothing seems that weird. Wait, wait yo, what? Yo, tell me I'm tripping, but does that melon say... It either says help or hell. One or the other. Bro, there's no way it would actually say that, right? I'm tripping. We are at a war with YouTube, as they've hidden our videos from you, our loyal viewers. Help us win by subscribing and commenting your favorite part from today's video. If I go world border add another 100, and I go... Yo! It... Wait, what? Bro, it literally just disappeared bro what okay hold the phone all these ones are still here but you can see the imprint in the grass it definitely wait a second what is it because i pushed the world border out is that why it disappeared nothing else around here did that wait hold up if i bring the world border back world border add negative 100 there we go oh my god yo it's there wait a second no way Okay, wait, if I fly in spectator then, I get up close to it. But oh my god. Bro, it actually does. Even the sheep's like, what the heck? Now this is either just a stupid coincidence or this is actually something that's... Bro, what is going on with the sheep? Wait, did y'all see that? Bro, homie was just geeking a second ago. What was that? You good, man? Y'all, I'm not going crazy, right? Y'all saw that too. So the moment that I push the world border out is when this updates. So if I go plus 100 again, I do this, it's gone. Weird. But wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. So when I go outside of the world border, it updates. But we, we know anytime you're inside of the world border is when any new generated terrain has like the fullest possibility to actually be corrupted because it's outside of the world border. The game's not actually reading what is outside of here. So you're telling me that that is possible because it was outside? Wait. Yo, why are these mobs moving so fast? Yo, what? Okay, hold up. Look at these sheep and these chicken. Bro, they're moving so fast. 
I'm moving completely normally. And these... Bro, these sheep... Wait, now they're back to normal. Wait, what? Wait, how is it... What? Yo. Yo, what the balls is going on? Okay, wait. Something's actually up here. Listen, if I don't see anything in this video, if I miss something by chance, I need you guys to let me know by dropping a timestamp down below. I'm going to read every single comment. And make sure you do not forget to subscribe because I'm going to be dropping multiple videos like this every single week because I want to try and find every single scary lore that's in the game and every scary myth. Now, seeing as we're outside of the world border, we might as well push our luck a little bit. We've done several videos beforehand where you go outside of the world border and obviously things are just super sketchy out here. But my big thing I want to mess with here is going to be tick speed based off of that email that this person sent me. Now, this is the world that they were on. So perhaps they did generate a lot of this train. I'm not entirely sure, but all we had was that tiny little world border right over there. So technically there's a chance that maybe they didn't come out this far perhaps, but if I follow that email correctly and we mess around with tick speed, I want to see if whatever they're talking about was true. That's why they abandoned the world and they sent it to me. It's the only way this would be possible, right? So I teleported to a village that was 900 blocks away. So you can literally see the gap from me to the world border. That thing is far away. Now, okay, the tick speed I want to mess with here. This village is fully functional. Everything is normal here. Okay, perfect. Literally the villagers planted. Thank you so much, buddy. Now, game rule, random tick speed. We'll set it to 1,000 would make it super fast. 2,000 would make it double super fast. I want to make it so unreasonable that these crops go so incredibly fast. Okay, we're going to go 2,000. Boom. Oh my God, bro. They're going so quick. Yo, look, even, even the vines. It's insane. Yo, you're welcome, villager. Okay, there's a random fire going on. Wait, does that mean it's going to spread? Oh my God, bro. Yo, look at that. Wait, so hypothetically, if I double this, we go 4,000. Hey, what's going on with all the villagers? Okay, the world is like starting to glitch out a little bit. Oh my god. Yo, what? Yo, what? What is... Yo! Are you good, bro? Did y'all... Bro, this villager was just geeking a second ago. What happened? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, tick speed's back to 20. Bro. What was that? Yo, his whole head was just bugging. It was only this one too, I'm pretty sure. Wait, yo, hold up. Okay, no, 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 no. Wait, I think we're onto something here, guys. Okay, we're gonna set tick speed back to 4,000. There we go. These crops should go really fast. Yep, they are. Okay, now the world starts bugging. I mean, granted, the world is moving at 4,000 milliseconds faster than normally would, so it, that makes sense why I'd be bugging. Okay, these villagers aren't doing anything. Nothing else is happening over here. This guy is staring at the crops. Yo, guys. Y'all saw that, right? Everything was just frozen. Bro, what? No, I'm actually... There it is again. Look. Can I pick this up? I can. Wait. Oh, no. I'm outside of the world border. Wait. Okay. You know what? YOLO. I wasn't going to, but a thousand. There we go. Okay. We're technically in the world border now, but everything is frozen. Yo. What in the world is ha- Everything. Okay. I thought I just froze for a second. Wait. Yo, the pigs. What? Yo, what is going- Okay, okay. I thought maybe before it was because we're outside of the world border, all this is happening, but there's no way. We're inside of the world border. I extended the range to like 2,000 extra blocks. Bro, there's no way. What? This actually doesn't make any sense. Wait. Yo, this villager. Oh my God, everything's frozen. Everything's frozen. Yo! Even this golem's mid Yo, what? Okay. Okay. It's not my world that's crashing. The whole world itself... You can still hear the mobs and the animals, so it's not like... You can still interact with it. Okay. Y'all, no, 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 no. This actually doesn't make any sense. I'm genuinely lost right now. Hey, was that villager running? Yo, he is. Yo, he is. What? Bro, I actually have no idea what the balls is happening. This is actually genuinely terrifying, bro. 
something is going on within the game that we've never seen before. Something that is within more the base code of the game. This actually doesn't make any sense. What? Yo. Yo, and the villager! Wait. Oh my god, it's all of them. Yo, what? What are they looking at? Yo, are they making out? Oh! What? What are they looking at? I thought I told y'all not to look at the eclipse. Yo, this is what happens when you look at the eclipse, y'all. Oh my... Okay. I'm not touching anything. Y'all think I'm doing this. Bro, I'm actually... What? What? How do you explain this to someone? Like, I actually don't know where to start with this, bro. Huh? Okay, I kind of have an idea. Just something I want to test out real quick. I need to build, like, a little fenced-in area. Okay, this should be good. Now, we saw it happening to pigs. We saw it... Oh, my God. Y'all are twitching, and now you're making babies. Okay, we got villagers right in here. Then we have pigs right in here. And then we have cows right here. And then, I don't know, can we do... Uh, oh, we can do sheep. And even we can do, what, like a chicken. Just all the general mobs. There we go. And boom, chicken. Now, when I start messing with the tick speed again, okay? Game rule, random tick speed will do 1,000. Okay, that doesn't affect mobs, but it affects the crops. Okay, as you can see, they're literally growing faster. All the crops have grown. You can literally see right here. And now, wait, yo. Wait, the sheep. Wait, and the villagers. Oh my god, wait, what? Yo, what? So when you mess with... Wait, I'm confused. Everything... Everything is frozen. Bro. What? Bro, even the chicken's head is upside down. How is this even possible? I'm, like, uncomfortable because I have no, like, justification as to why this is even possible and we're inside of the world border and now like everything is like permanently frozen it wasn't like this beforehand but now it is like it's actually genuinely like actually stuck like this now bro what how yo what the yo what is this yo hold the phone was that an enderman wait i'm not i'm not tweaking right literally replay the video what was there just to... wait yo even my pl okay this is new what's going on Y'all, this is weird even. I'm starting to freak out. Wait, that, wait, that was an Enderman, I think. It looked like an Enderman, but it was like all white. Wait, maybe if I want to get close, I have to be in spectator? Because then it doesn't actually register me. Oh my God, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yo, yo! It's moving. Everything else is still frozen, and this thing is moving. Bro, what, can I get close to it? Oh my God, I can. Wait, it's gone again! No, there's no way it knows. Okay, it's, maybe it's teleported like a regular Enderman would. Wait, what? Yo, I've never... That's not a real Enderman. That, or that's not an Enderman that's from the game. What is happening here? Like, actually, what is happening? Wait, oh my god, there it is. Yo, it like walks weird. Ew! Do you hear that? Wait, hold up. If I turn on accessibility, uh... Show subtitles. Cave Enderman whoops. What is a cave enderman? Wait, it's trying to... Yo, what? It's killing... Everything. Okay, in case y'all thought I was clickbaiting, it literally says cave enderman. And then it's trying to kill all the mobs, but they're frozen. And it's gone. Yo, what? This is happening in real time. Yo! Everything's dead! Hold up. What in the world is a cave enderman? Okay, like, hear me out. This was posted four years ago. Mysterious white enderman caught by my friend. This is their screenshot. And they also have on their accessibility. So you can see subtitles. This is the white enderman. But that's not like the one that we saw. And then this enderman too. It's white. But that's not the same enderman that we saw. That's not the same kind. This one was called the cave enderman. And wait a second. On this Reddit post right here, it says enderman whoops. The one that we just saw said cave enderman whoops. So what is that? Was this why that player got so scared and sent us the world because they saw this that would make sense as to potentially why 
but it still doesn't add up. Bro, what? My bro, so everything's gone. Wait, was this here beforehand? I re don't remember. Wait a second, hold up. I am recording on replay mod, so we can check this out in a moment, but I don't remember this, this tree being here. Bro, am I tweaking? Or maybe it's the tick speed, but no, we're in the desert. There's no way. Wait, hold the phone. Wait, what am I doing, bro? I can go in spectator. Okay. So we have a lush cave here. But... Maybe this is where that Enderman would... Oh my god, it's here! Wait, okay, I'm in spectator. It doesn't know... I don't think it knows I'm here. Bro, look! Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, cave Enderman. Whoops. None of the mobs. There's like 7,000 creepers. Wait, where's it going? Bro, what? Have y'all ever seen this before? There's no way this is actually something, right? Like, there's... This actually being in the game, bro? There's no way. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. Hold up. If I go difficulty peaceful... Wait a second. All the mobs died, but it didn't. So that means technically it should be friendly. Right? So if I go into survival mode... Okay, my screen's bugging, bro. I'm scared. I'm actually, I'm actually scared. I wish I had Kevin with me, bro. Because <laughs> then at least we can do it together. Wait, it's punching towards me. Oh! No! Yo, what? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's behind me now. Yo, what do I do? Can I punch it? Uh-oh. What just happened? Wait. I can still hear it. I can still hear it. Yo, what? There's just a bunch of prime TNT. Wait a second. It's freezing time. Wait, it can freeze. It's the one that. Oh my jeez! Called it. I called it. I called it. Yo, I need to get that. I need to. I need to get in front of that thing one more time. Hold up. Okay, wait. I need to find this thing again. Okay, wait. I'm in spectator. Oh my god, it's there. It's there. It's there. Yo, wait. Hold up. The tick speed's going insane. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spawn behind it. I'm gonna open those in here. Never mind. Yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, I'm gonna just stand. Yo. Okay, it doesn't interact like a regular Enderman where you stare at it, it doesn't attack you. So it's an Enderman, but it's not the same type of Enderman. Bro, whoa! Yo, what? Uh Y'all? Can I alt F4? It the game I can still hear the game. It's not letting me alt F4. Uh I don't know what to say. Go click right here to watch the next video. Uh, I'm shutting off my PC, bro. I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out.